Alrighty, what we have here is the McDonnell Miller number 47-2. This part here is the number 47, and uh, this is the number 2 uh, switch, which uh, is operated by the float mechanism. Uh, the idea is that when you, um, you're supposed to operate this thing once a week, uh, particularly when the burner is running, when you open it up, the float's supposed to drop, and the uh, little cam in here is supposed to disconnect the switch and the burner should shut off. The float will then refill and the burner should then come back on. The other thing it does is there's another linkage here which then will operate this um, uh, water feed. So this is what is supposed to happen. Of course, I'm not going to run the boiler because it gets uh, a little loud. There we are. That's the sound of it refilling. Yeah, they're fairly clever mechanism up here. This is adjustable in height and also takes care of any um, misalignments uh, to install this thing. And a quick disconnect union up here and here. And these are on OEM fittings, which I must... Uh, warn you if you ever have to remove these uh, these are cast and they are uh, quite brittle and uh, on more than one occasion we've had them break off um, inside the boiler and this also leaves room for the uh, sight glass fittings these are from the consolidated um, brass company now known as Combraco New sight glass and fittings, and this is our sight glass uh, blowdown valve. So we recently replaced this fill mechanism because apparently it uh, got uh, clogged with uh, rust and held open, and uh, over the last couple of days it uh, filled the system and water was squirting out of vents uh, and damaged walls and so forth which was not a good day for anybody this is the bypass there going down into the boiler this is a number two switch as I said before it's electronic and this is the mechanical feed so this was fine for the 1930s, um, but uh, probably the best thing, best use for this really is if you had a crab steamer. What it'll do is if the, as the float drops, it'll start feeding water in before it shuts it off to keep production of uh, the crabs, uh, for production for steam for, for the crabs. And, um, will only shut off if the production of the steam gets beyond um, if, you know, the demand for the steam gets beyond what the what the boiler can produce now what we have here is a cutaway of the uh, 47 tube this is the um, tube in here for the adjustment of the height so you can see there's not there's no thread at this end. And this is the uh, operationness of the blow valve. Blow down valve. You can see the scoring on the uh, on the ball there, which uh, when it gets pronounced, this thing starts to leak. Um, these are notorious for leaking after a couple of years. This is the uh, inside view 
of the uh, bottom feed and you can see it's partially occluded it's only half inch it's the separation between the top and the bottom you can undo these bolts here there's the bellows right there on the inside you see the top is fairly clean this is where a lot of the gooey uh, oil laden rust likes to sit and the sort of black rust here likes to sit and you're, what what ha what can happen is if the rust builds up it can keep the float from turning off and so that's why you're supposed to blow it down at least once a week to make sure that the this does not fill up with rust and cause your boiler to dry fire there's a close-up of the the number two switch you can hear it operating as that cam hits the mechanism there and cut away at the linkage so you have a you have an electrical disconnect and then you have a mechanical mechanical feed now this is the old-fashioned feed mechanism uh, there's just a seat and a there you are there you are just a seat and a pit pin. There's a strainer which can be removed, but this is um, this is iron bodied, so it tends to rust up pretty well. Um, as I said, they haven't really updated this thing since since they made made this in the 1930s. The newer type, this is the older type with the round cutoffs. The newer type, I'll bring those back over here again. I have this hexagonal fitting, which means that you can, if you remove these bolts, the cartridge can drop and you can throw it away and, and you can put in a new cartridge. You don't have to uh, work the plumbing quite so much. So that is that. So the 47.2 is, uh, well, it was fine in the 30s, but it's now pretty problematic. And uh, don't have many good feelings about this guy.